Let's talk about a couple of the bonus options that you can use to pump up those PowerPoint presentations. The broadcast add-in is downloadable from Microsoft and allows you to broadcast your presentation to a limited number of people over a network all at the same time, while you are controlling and even providing audio to the presentation. This can be useful if you're presenting to a small audience that is all connected on a network. Another interesting add-in you can download from Microsoft is called Producer. For those of you that want to create online, self-paced tutorials, or presentations that include synced slides with audio and video, this is great. Producer will even do video capture and do multi-track timeline editing. It's different from a program like Movie Maker or iMovie in that it is even simpler to use, and it really is designed to allow you to put up your slides along with a video screen at the same time. It's lots of fun, easy to use, and it will easily export to the web. But on to something more basic. We're going to set up a presentation to run with audio commentary. That way, you can leave it running and a pre-recorded voice will do the presentation for whomever happens to be walking by. This is great for parent nights at school when you want to set up a small exhibit of what a class is doing for visiting parents, free to interact one-on-one -on -one with the adults. First, make sure you have all your slides ready to go. Once everything is there, you will probably want to create notes or even a script to read as you're recording. This is really easy to do. Just use the notes section under each slide. Shrink the slide view a little. See here under each slide? It says click to add notes. Go ahead and add those notes as you see fit. Now you're ready to begin. From the command menu up here, select Slideshow. One of the options is Record Narration. When you first select this, it will ask you to set up and test your recording. That's a good idea. You'll need a microphone for this. A headset mic is just fine. Click on Set Microphone Level. Speak into it, and you should be getting up into the yellow at least. If not, Slide the slider over to the right and make sure your mic is close to your mouth. Fine. Now, up the audio quality a little. Click on Change Quality. It may make a slightly bigger file, but it will sound much better. Try 16-bit mono at 21 kilobits per second. Great. We are ready to record. Print out your slide presentation with your notes pages if you still need them to read along. Make sure you're not going to be interrupted and you're in a quiet place. You can turn on some background music if you like. The slideshow will begin. You can step through it by clicking the mouse. I wouldn't set the mouse at auto transition before doing this. You can talk through the whole presentation. An audio file will be set up for each slide, and an automatic time transition will be set up for each one as well. How cool and easy is that? Let's try. Click OK. It will ask you to begin on a slide. Pick your slide and start. To stop, hit Escape. It'll ask you if you want to save timings for your slide. Click Yes. You do want to save those slide transition timings. It will bring you back into the slide sorter view. See the little notes at the bottom of each slide? The number here 
indicates how long that slide is playing. It's the transition. The little yellow dot you might be able to see in the bottom corner of each slide is the audio track. To play it back and check the audio, just play your slideshow. If you don't like one of the audio tracks on a slide, then you can go into that slide and delete the sound object. Redoing that bad recording isn't that hard. You'll have to record a new sound and set up its object animation properties and fix the slide transition timing. It goes like this. Go to your slide, delete the object by clicking it and pressing delete. Select Insert Movies and Sounds, Record Sound. Click the Record button to start. Record your new audio and then click the Stop button to stop. Click OK. Now, click on your new sound object and in the Task pane, select Custom Animation. Select your object here. Select Start After Previous. Then, select Timing. And in Timing, select Animate as part of Sequenced. Next, go to Transitions in the Task pane, and you may have to adjust how long the slide plays. There. That does get a little complicated to fix a simple mistake, but at least now you know how to do it. That about wraps it up for adding audio. Don't forget to investigate some of those other add-ins. <laughs>